everyone, good morning. A few weeks ago, I posted a video where I talked about different scenarios in which a prime lens might actually be detrimental to the pictures that you're taking or might be holding you back as a wildlife photographer. That video was in no way meant to bash prime lenses or tell you not to get one. I was simply giving you a few things to consider when you're deciding what lens to purchase or maybe what lens to take with you out into the field on a specific day. In this week's video, I wanted to do just the opposite and go over some of the benefits of using prime lenses, some of the scenarios in which I prefer to use a prime lens over a zoom lens, and in some cases when a prime lens can actually far outperform a zoom lens. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As I mentioned in that previous video, most of my wildlife photography is done using a zoom lens, and that's mostly because of the type of wildlife photography that I prefer to do. Let's look at some of the scenarios where I put the zoom lens away and use a prime lens instead. First, let's talk low light. There's no doubt about it, prime lenses excel in low light situations, and if we're being real here, those scenarios are going to be very common in what we do as wildlife photographers. You know, I absolutely love my zoom lens, but the largest that I can get the aperture on this is f4.5. That's all the way zoomed out, which can make it really difficult to photograph a lot of the species that I enjoy photographing. As I zoom in, the aperture gradually closes, allowing in less light into the lens and into the camera. And in low light situations, you want all the light that you can get to work with. Prime lenses, on the other hand, generally have larger apertures. Many of the popular wildlife photography prime lenses have apertures of f4 or f2.8, allowing in a lot of light. I can't even fathom how much of a game changer that could be if utilized appropriately in your wildlife photography. As we've talked about, generally speaking, you can get those larger apertures on a prime lens versus a zoom lens. This will allow more of that light into the camera, which can allow you to increase your shutter speeds, lower your ISOs, and this can result in sharper images and less noise in those pictures that you're taking. While we're on the subject of aperture capabilities, let's talk about another reason you may want to use a prime lens in your photography. That is bokeh. The larger your aperture is, the less depth of field your images will have. And this helps you to incorporate bokeh into your images, or that soft, smooth appearance that you can get behind and in front of your subjects as you photograph them. This can help your subject stand out more in an image or help smooth out or soften a cluttered background. You certainly don't need a prime lens to achieve this effect and there's a lot more to it than just getting a prime lens. You can achieve this with any lens, but a prime lens will certainly help. Those are some of the technical reasons why you may want to use a prime lens over a zoom lens in your wildlife photography. Now let's look at some of the scenario based reasons. Traditionally, I found myself to be more of a mammal photographer over other groups of animals, but as time has gone on, I find myself becoming more and more addicted to photographing birds as well, especially owls, ducks, and smaller songbirds. In my experience, I found that when photographing smaller birds like songbirds, I much prefer using a prime lens over a zoom lens, and there's a few reasons why. Photographing smaller songbirds can be incredibly difficult, but there are a lot of prime lenses out there that have more reach than you can get with a lot of zoom lenses. This helps you to get closer to the birds without actually being closer while maintaining a larger aperture, which again helps you achieve those faster shutter speeds, which is absolutely necessary when photographing smaller songbirds, especially when they're flitting and flying around the trees. Also, because you're able to maintain a shallower depth of field with a lot of prime lenses, you can can smooth out those backgrounds when those birds are in more cluttered trees or landscapes like you can see all around me here. Another scenario in which I prefer to use a prime lens over a zoom lens is when photographing wildlife from a blind or from a vehicle. When I photograph wildlife from a blind, I generally have a good idea of where that wildlife is going to be so I can more easily ensure that they won't come too close for the prime lens to be able to handle. For example, when I'm photographing grouse, they stay in approximately the same area and I usually don't run into problems with them coming too much closer. If they do come closer, both shooting from a blind or from a vehicle will allow me to have other lenses on hand that I can switch out without too much visible movement from the animal's point of view. 
As I mentioned in the previous video, camera lenses are simply tools that will be best utilized by you, the photographer, when you know what their strengths and their weaknesses are. Each photographer is going to have different preferences on what species they enjoy photographing the most or in which scenarios they generally photograph wildlife, and these will help determine what lens will be best for you. The thing I love about wildlife photography is there's no right or wrong answer. You simply find what works best for you and you go with it, put that creativity work, and get wonderful images as a result. Today we have so many wonderful options, both local camera stores and online options as well, that allow you to rent gear before you have to buy it. That way you can know for certain that it'll work for your needs as a wildlife photographer. I always love learning from you guys, so please let us know what you think down in the comments. Is there a certain scenario or a certain species in which you prefer to use one type of lens over another? Or ultimately, what made you choose to get the lens that you're using today? I would love to hear from you down below. As always, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching this week. We'll see you next time.